be on that want to listen in and hear everything, and then we'll get the party started. Daniel, we've got people here, um, some from the Sioux Falls area and some that are also up in North Dakota that you're going to see as well from the Grand Forks and other surrounding areas. But we also have some others. Actually, Christy Spaniel, for those of you, you can look on your screens and see who Christy Spaniel is. Uh, she's from the Minnesota area driving. How many hours are you driving tomorrow, my lady? Well, we can't hear you, but she's driving four. That's what I thought. I thought it was four. I said maybe three, but I think four. Four hours to come and listen to Daniel. And that is beautiful. I was talking to somebody earlier today as well. And I said, I just remember when I first got started with Life Manage. And just had this burning desire to learn and how do they do things and what do they do and what are the meetings like. And I remember hearing of some leaders that were going to be in the Minneapolis area. And um, so Daniel, Minneapolis from Sioux Falls is like three and a half, four hours or so. So very similar. And, and I just remember going by myself, popping in a the car. There were no, I had no guests, but it's just that learning, that belief building, just all those things. So let's welcome everybody, Mr. Daniel Song, to the call here. Round of applause. This is our round of applause, Daniel. Um, we're just so, so grateful that you're taking a few minutes tonight because you're going to be taking a lot of time on Friday, a lot of time on Saturday. You're going to be flying and doing all those things even before that. So we honor you. We cherish you. We know that service comes at, at a you know, it, you're taking time away from your family and we know how special your family is to you and, and we, it's, it's cherished and time is important mm -hmm. and having babies going back to school and a senior, it's just like, man, we just, every single second you want to have, but at the same point, we know that growth and, and showing them vision and, and what service to others is, is also a big deal. So um, we just thank you. I'm going to tell you guys real quick. If you don't know, I know everybody's seen Daniel everywhere. Who here in the chat saw Daniel on the Activate and just were mind blown? Put a one in the chat. We're just like, you're mind blown how incredible he was there. So he lives, correct me if, if any of this is wrong, Daniel. He lives in LA. Do you still live in LA? In Los Angeles, California. He's married with four children. We'll get pictures out of the family because they look like they're from magazines. It's just so beautiful. He graduated um, from Art Center College of Design. He's been with Network Marketing for over 22 years. So we have somebody coming here to Sioux Falls in the Grand Forks area that has been in the profession longer than any of us have been with Life Vantage, you guys. Top of the company, a servant leader. Um, Don Barush is on here. She worked with him at their previous company and had um, the most utmost respect when she learned Daniel was coming here. She's just like, he's a good, good guy. And what a gift to Life Vantage. And I, it always makes sense when great people come to Life Vantage, doesn't it? It's like, oh, those are, those are our people. He's been on top of the three previous companies. He loves customizing and modifying vehicles and race cars. How fun is that? And he's an avid and obsessive collector of all things Star Wars, Marvel, Marvel, sorry, and Lego. I love that. So have you been to the Mall of America and seen how they build everything out with Legos there? I have not been there. I've, I've gotten to go to two different Legoland parks with my kids, but not wow. Mall of America. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I just want to get right to you. Um, but everybody, this is an opportunity of a lifetime. I know that's hypey, weird words, but you know that I mean it from my soul to each of you with what we have going on with the launch of the company, where we are right now with the company. We know what happened with collagen. For those of you that were here when that launched, what that did to your businesses, what that did to people's health from the inside out, the outside in, um, just the whole shebang. And I said it and then in a group, big group text to everybody today, that collagen was huge. Pro tandem is huge, right? Like, we know this, but I've never felt a rumbling, and I mean that with McCor me like I feel right now, leading up to Kansas City of what's coming. Um, and Daniel has worked in in this space, which obviously this product is very different than what he's worked with, but he's worked in this space before and understands what that is and the vision of that and how to take what we have with him 
on Friday and Saturday and how to maximize that and how to maximize our businesses now to cast that net. Um, what did you call it? Uh, the the launch of a decade and then the great multiplier, I think, were the takeaways from mm. when you did our team call that were, were so, so big. So mm. I'm just going to throw it over to Daniel and then we'll talk more about what's going to happen on Friday and Saturday. But Daniel, Welcome to Sioux Falls group and surrounding areas. Welcome to the Grand Forks, uh, North Dakota and surrounding areas, people here. They just want to hear a little bit more from you. You know, how can they help invite their guests to you? Um, mm. You know, what notes to bring from trainings and just any any advice you can give. But most importantly, we just thank you so much. So, so much. Well, I am truly, again, to be able to do Zoom calls is one thing, right? To be able to have the honor and the privilege to be able to like share this space with the Pose and the rest of their teams. Like, I don't take it lightly because when you have incredible leaders with incredible experience, there is a part of your job where you do need to sort of protect your your family, right? You You want to make sure that you're not inviting like charlatans into the group who are who knows, they might have some great intentions, they might sound really slick in the beginning, and then suddenly they're off there promoting some ebook or some courses. And you're like, whoa, 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 team, like, that's not what we, you know, and so I, I understand, right. like, there's there's a level of trust that goes into opening up these calls to invite people in, especially someone like me, who is brand new to this life vantage family. So I don't take it lightly at all that Sean and Michelle have been incredibly welcoming for me to join you guys on not only their team calls, but to be able to join you guys like, like in your living rooms, right? Like in, in the next 24, 48 hours, I'm going to be in two living rooms. Um, and I'm so incredibly excited about that. Number one, selfishly for me, I've never been to North Dakota and South Dakota. So I get to cross those off my list. Um, albeit that it is going to be a quick trip. I did not realize when Skylar called me and sort of ambushed me into this sort of trip. I, I had no idea that it was going to be this insane, like, like, crazy like again I, I won't go through the details but i just had no idea it was gonna be that crazy um but i am excited nonetheless i will and hopefully if i don't mess up this opportunity this weekend i'm hoping that the pose or one of you guys will invite me back sometime soon so i can do a proper tour of your area um but you know again i think we have a wonderful opportunity obviously we all know all roads point to market connect we know that that's ultimately where our efforts are pointed at. We anything we can do in the next sixty days to just get one more butt in that seat, one more eyes, one more set of brain. Like that's what we're all doing this for. That's why Jake Hines is traveling. That's why the, the the whole sales team is visiting different cities. That's why your leaders are on the road because ultimately we're just out there because we know the potential of what we have. But it all means nothing if there's not enough of us going out there and and making it known. We know. I love the life vantage story. Like I love the fact that we have this incredible product called Pro Tandem, and that product did not sell until we found people like you to talk about it, right? So it really, you know, like the the crazy thing about Life Vantage's origin story is we are the proof and concept of why direct sales is so powerful. Like without it, like it doesn't matter how great the formula is, it doesn't matter all the clinical studies, it doesn't matter the peer-reviewed studies. If you don't have people like yourselves sincerely and genuinely sharing it with your stories, it's not going to matter. I always say all the formulations, all the science, all the clinical studies, all the white paper reviews, all of that is, it, it really, all it does is in, it informs our audience, but it does not inspire them to take action, right? It's really your stories, how and what the product has done for you, uh, how it's impacted your health, how it's impacted your your livelihoods, like that's the stories that begins to inspire people to take action, right? Um, and, and, and this new GLP-1 product is going to be no different. Like GLP-1, like don't get me wrong, inherently there's a lot of buzz and excitement around it, but it still requires people like us to be able to share our stories and the stories that we're inevitably going to see uh, in the next 60 to 90 days post-launch. And so, you know, our, our overall effort is to try to get you guys to really, really understand why we want you at that event. I know that you know, for those of you guys that have been around in Life Vantage for, I don't know, five, six, 10, 12 years, every year you're probably hearing from your team leaders why you need to get to that next convention, why you need to get to that li next live event, like why it's going to be life changing. And I know some of you guys are probably thinking, like, yeah, we've heard this before. Like, what? <laughs> why is this any different? And and that's that's the tricky thing, right? A part of our job as 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 leaders is to try to instill and provide a vision and an excitement and a reason for people to engage. But 
We also have to be very well aware that if if we play the same broken record over and over again, our teams stop responding to that message. And, you know, sometimes we start to take for granted that we have leadership that we've seen for six, seven, eight, 10 plus years, right? So we're like, I know we've heard this message, Sean, I get it, we gotta be there. And so sometimes it might take another person, another perspective to understand. And so when I say, really without any hype because the thing is if you if you do hype and you tend to use the the fomo incorrectly you you tend to waste that ammunition you you waste it and you don't get it back right because then people go they're they're led on to believe that this is going to be incredible amazing life changing and then they go and they don't experience that they come back they get disappointed and guess what they will not respond to your next wave of excitement sizzle text and whatever it is and so we want to honor that but we want to also do the fair job of really understanding like, no, we're not trying to overhype this launch. You know what I mean? Um, I did a Facebook live video this weekend talking about the difference between a me too product and what I consider a once in a decade type of launch. Um, network marketing companies, you guys know this. I mean, they're, they're, there's a dime a dozen. I mean, every year you got new companies starting every year. And, and, and unfortunately, the stats are sort of historically true that majority of them, they don't make it. 80 to 90% of these companies do not make it in the first two or three or four years, right? And so the fact that we are celebrating our 15th year anniversary is already a monumental achievement in it of itself. Now, to give you an idea, like I, I sort of nerd out on this industry, by the way, like I don't, I, I love life vantage, but part of what I also do is really study our competitors, our, our space, really what's going on as a bird's eye trend to direct sales. And one of the things I can tell you is this, most companies in order to make it in that first one or two or three years, that the one of the key ingredients to success to be able to make it beyond that, they have to have a home run product. Any company that's made it beyond three years usually has some form of a home run product. Now, that home run product usually becomes their call sign. It becomes their sort of flagship product. It becomes the identifier. Um, I'll use companies that have long been dis like they're gone. So I don't think they're, it, I can talk about that now. But, you know, you if you guys know historically, there were companies like Monavi that came out. They launched a wonderful Asahi juice, like an antioxidant juice. And that became the signature product for that company, right? Or you have companies like Visalis that comes out with a 30-day challenge. It becomes their signature product for their company. Now, it's their first home run product. It's really the product that makes them their millions, hundreds of millions, if not billions, whatever it is. Then what ends up happening is at some point, sales begins to flatten out. It begins to plateau. It begins to, the, 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 the charm and the newness and the excitement begins to, to, to level out, or it begins to just simply saturate, meaning everybody who needs to know about the product now knows about the product. So now a company's job, any good company would figure out, well, what can we do to bolster, increase, or grow sales? And the idea is to create another home run product. Every Trust me, every company is trying to create a home run product, right? If you guys know musicians, a musician will come out, they'll launch their first album, their debut album, and either they make it or they don't, right? You hear, you hear about these one-hit wonders that go away, but sometimes they make it. And the greatest pressure on these musicians, whenever you have a great debut album, the greatest pressure is to produce a just as good sophomore album. You guys know that, right? Musicians are always talking about the sophomore album curse because nine out of 10 musicians cannot deliver on a better second album. And usually their careers are kind of done after that. Now, every once in a while, you'll have a mus musician that will deliver on a great sophomore album and a third album and a fourth, but that's usually very rare. And so trust me that every company out there is trying to deliver a home run after home run after home run. The reality is that most cannot do that. So what do most companies resort to? They resort to what we call just off the shelf me too products. Now I'm going to give you a dirty secret about how this industry works for a lot of companies. A lot of companies do not have the resources that Life Vantage has to have its own internal product team, an internal formulation team, an internal scientific advisory board. If you guys met like Lisa, Julie and her teams, they're just incredibly smart. Like I seriously, they are smart. I do not understand 50% of the things Lisa says. I just smile, nod my head, and I act like I know what I'm talking about because I don't want to look like dumb in front of her, but I have no idea what she's talking about. But I know she's really good at what she does. We have the resources as a publicly traded $200 million plus dollar company to be able to have a team to come up with incredible activator formulas like we have. Now, let me give you a dirty secret about how this industry works. A lot of companies are not in that position to make that type of investments. They don't have a true scientific team internally. Now, they may have one person that's called the product guy, right? That has a lab coat, a stethoscope, right? He plays the part of the product guy. But what's really going on is this. 
in areas like Salt Lake City, like where you have a lot of network marketing companies, you have a lot of what we call formulation houses, uh, companies that produce nutraceutical products for other companies. And they will go out there and they'll have a formula. Let's say, for example, I'll take a, a really popular product in the last 10 years. You guys know like greens, right? Like athletic greens, Organifi, lean greens, like a lot of these green juices, right? Incredibly powerful products. Now, most companies, they don't have the millions of dollars to research and study and do clinical testing. So what they do is they go to these nutraceutical formulation houses and say, we need a green drink. Right away, that's a me too product. You're saying everybody else has it. I need it, right? It's a me too product. Not only that, they'll go to them and say, what do you guys currently have? And they'll say, well, we have XYZ formulation. We have this incredible lean greens. This is what it does. It does this, the boom. And they'll put out all these generic benefits, right? And the company will say, great, I want that. Now, can you please change it a little bit, just a little bit? I don't want to pay a lot of money, just a little bit. So I can say, technically, our company has a better product or we have a proprietary blend. Whenever you see the word proprietary blend, know that that's a gimmick to say we have 2% more of this, 3% more of this, 4% more of this. But it isn't like the differentiator is not that big, right? It's very marginal, but it's what people do to try to say our products are better. And that's what I always think is so funny when you see all these competitors talking about our collagen is better because blah, blah, blah. Our collagen is better because of blah. Every company talks about how their collagens are better. But you notice none of them talk about activating your body's own natural collagen, right? Because that's not the space they're in. And so what I love what LifeVantage is doing is they're making their differentiators significant. It's not this me too off the shelf product. And so we all know that in this space, whenever you go to these sort of like annual conventions and big events, all companies will use a new product launch as a way to get the distributors to come out to their events. It's, it's a natural technique, right? Almost every company ties a product launch to a big event. It's just the way it kind of works. It's part of an event cadence. The downside is you go there, you get excited and you're excited, but the marketplace doesn't care for a product like that. So what you're really doing is launching a product for your existing customers in your existing field to get excited momentarily, to maybe redirect some of that spending, right? Instead of, yeah, right, and like for example, I'll give you one example that happens even in Life Vantage. We have so many wonderful flavors of Axio. Whenever a new flavor of Axio launches, guess what ends up happening? It's not that 200 million more customers join Life Vantage to try that new flavor of Axio. It's one of you guys giving up a one other flavor to now buy another flavor. So it's redirecting that spending. So it doesn't necessarily move the needle forward. It doesn't really elevate the company to a new level of growth. So the exciting part here is what GLP-1 can do. Again, I'm not a scientist, but let me tell you exactly why I get super pumped up about this. Number one is I talk about a term called vanity wellness, and it really basically boils down to wellness that you can see. There's a lot of wellness that we do that we just can't see. Now we can feel it, we know it's working for us. Maybe we can go get lab work or doctor's blood works and we can see that it's working for us, but it's kind of hard to show your friends, right? Like I know Sean and Michelle, they always post all of these health regimens that they do. They're doing like ice baths, they're doing saunas. They have this crazy like robot in their living room. I don't know what it does, but it looks, they're, they're always, I mean, there's crazy stuff that you guys are doing that you guys, I know you guys know that it's working for you, but it's hard to show that. It's hard for your audience to really understand, like, is it really working though? Or is it like, how much of that is placebo? How much of that is like you acting like, you know what I mean? We know that. I mean, anything that, for example, that's internal, it feels that way. A before and after photo will feel that way. But with vanity wellness, it's easy to demonstrate why the product is working for you, right? Uh, if, as an example, collagen, not only is it an activator, not only is it a great differentiator, but it's also vanity wellness. It's wellness that you drink and you can see it. You can see people's skin, their pigmentation, their inflammation, their acne, their, their scarring, right? Their, their, the, the soreness around or the bags around their eyes, the signs of wrinkling, right? All, it's all visual. So that's what I mean by vanity wellness. And up to this point, ProTandem did that to some degree. Collagen did that. True Science did that. And I believe GLP-1 is going to do that times 10 right? Because weight loss is one of the biggest vanity wellness metrics that you can show. We all know that on social media, there's a lot of competition for noise, right? During the Olympics, I mean, we all know this. How many people did you know that were posting Olympic-based contents, right? Like, 
it's just a lot of noise olympics or you know entertainment news or gossip or now now that the olympics is out of the way you know for the next three or four months it's all going to be about the presidential race like that's going to be the noise that we're going to see on social media so you have to understand even though we go out there and we're carefully adjusting filter colors on our photos or bumping up like colors or we're, we're, we're touching out our photos we're coming out with clever captions and putting in a bunch of emojis we're spending all this time and not realizing that most of our audience won't even spend a half a second to look at it the truth of the matter is you spent 10 15 minutes putting up a great post and everybody else is just scrolling right past that stuff and you're like that's so the, the, how do we get people to not scroll past your content if it's not engaging or exciting or, or, or catches your attention? And so it has to be something that is vanity. It has to be something that you can see, right? And before and after photos do that all the time. It's one of the reasons why I think most people that have been involved in a weight loss based companies know that it's incredibly powerful. Um, and so again, for that reason, again, vanity wellness, it's powerful. It's not a me too product, right? It is a true differentiator, right? Life Vantage, again, I don't need to preach to the choir about why Life Vantage does it differently. But in this space of weight loss, there's what I call like old school and new school science, right? Like, I mean, I've been a part of a company that, yes, it was a weight loss company. I, I, I was a part of the company when it was in its obscurity, like Don was there. And, and I got to watch that company go from obscurity to a little over $100 million in three short years. And I was my teams were probably almost 60% of that total revenue at the time, right? And so we saw what it did. It did exactly what we're talking about. It had these great viral before and after photos. But let me tell you one of the things that that isn't happening. One, we all know that we are in a tough economy right now. We are in a tough economy. Now, I truly believe this is an entrepreneur's economy, meaning if you go out there and put in the work now, it, it is a great, great time. I also believe that this is the time where you're going to have what I consider high professionals that are going to look at our industry. Um, if you go back to 2008, 2009, during the, the mortgage crisis or the housing crisis, you saw a huge influx of high caliber professionals that have otherwise would have never looked at network marketing that had actually considered network marketing for the very first time in their career. Because a lot of these people are used to getting paid on commissions, high dollar commissions. They can't, they're psychologically, they can't go back to an hourly paying job. And so you had a lot of these people get involved in our industry and it elevated our industry. I think a lot of the big, big successful stories that you see are on, uh, network marketers that joined in 2008, 2010, 2011, and 12, right? So I believe we're going to see another opportunity of people like that coming in board to our industry here in the next few short years. Um, that being said, I believe our products, I know it's not yet disclosed, but I believe in my heart, the price points that they're trying to go after right now, Life Vantage, it's going to be very competitive. It's going to be incredibly, incredibly competitive. Um, the previous company I was with is about double the price of where Life Vantage is targeting their price to be at. So imagine being able to offer a solution and your competitors have to charge at least twice what we're going to charge for it. It's going to give you an incredible edge, guys, an incredible edge. Number two is you're talking about a two-part product. Like I said, I don't understand formulation, but I do understand simplicity, right? Imagine taking a few capsules, whether it's in the morning, afternoon, I don't know exactly the directions, but just a few capsules and, and that's it, right? I mean, it's this isn't a complicated system. The company I was with, Don knows this, it was, it was a little bit complicated. There was five parts to the product. There was a whole meal program that you had to do. There was a whole carb cycling program. There was a whole you got to change up your grocery, your meals. You got to know exactly when to take the products, when not to take the products, meal snacks and protein snacks. I mean, there was a whole lifestyle. I mean, there was a lot of handholding, a lot of coaching through the program. Now, the program got great results, but man, the follow through, unless you were a good coach supporting people, it was kind of hard. A lot of there was a lot of user error. People would call back and be like, Daniel, I did this, but I didn't lose any weight. And then and then they would explain what they did. And you find out nine out of 10 times it's user error because the system was complicated. Again, with a two part product that's we know it's oral ingestion. We know that much. It's how we can't mess this up, guys. It's going to be incredibly easy. And so from efficacy and follow through, it's going to make it so much more greater. From a financial standpoint, again, it's going to be simple and easy to use. <laughs> and then you build a pipeline of people that are getting these incredible results in 30, 60, 90 days. And then again, it's going to be game over, guys. Like, let, let's look at, I don't think it was intentional, but I also think it's going to be a wonderful timing, right? So we have about 
60 days till market connect and you go, you're going to get your hands on the products, right? So outside of the, the presidentials and the FAB who have some of the products and outside of the rise or treat people that are going to get some products here in about two weeks, most of us are not going to get our hands on that product till October. So let's use October as the start time. You have all of October and November and December, roughly about 80 days to start using this GLP-1 product. You have 80 days to create some incredible viral before and after stories. You know what I mean? Now, some of us have a lower BMI. Some of us are already pre-athletic. So maybe we're not going to get like crazy results, right? But we know probably we have family members and loved ones that we know could be really, really great, what I call walking billboards for this product, right? Um, so we get the product strategically in the hands of these people. And again, I'm going to talk about this after Market Connect. I'm going to talk about strategically, like I am committed to gifting this product to four or five of my friends for free, but I just need them to say, hey, I'm serious about this. And I'm not going to say it to them, but I'm going to be like, you kind of have the body where you could probably, <laughs> we, we all know what we're talking about, right? Again, so I'm not going to say it out loud, but we know we have some friends that we're looking at, like you could probably benefit from this, right? And just say, hey, I want to borrow your story, right? And those stories are going to become your visual Rolodex. And this is the reason why. I see Michelle, she does this all the time. And again, it's not a surprise, but she's on her Instagram story posting collagen story after one, after another, after another, after another, after another. And I guarantee you, those are stories that are happening not only directly that she's involved in, but I'm sure they're happening within her team. It's a Rolodex of stories. So you got to be good at collecting a Rolodex of these stories because guess what happens? After December comes January. So you have, again, 80 days after Market Connect to build some incredible stories. And here's the reason why. Because when January rolls around, everyone gets into New Year's resolution mode. And you guys know in the top five resolutions every year, without fail, without fail, weight loss or <laughs> weight management is one of the top five most commonly listed resolutions every year. Everyone's looking for that. But let me give you a, kind of like a pro tip. By the time January 1st rolls around, most people have already figured out what that strategy is going to be for them. Most people have already bought a gym membership or asked one for Christmas or whatever it is. So January 1st is already too late to start marketing the GLP-1 products. But if you start sharing stories during the holiday when everybody else is eating their turkey leg and everyone's having their third plate of Thanksgiving meal and everyone's enjoying their Christmas buffet, you're out there posting that you've lost I, and I'm using arbitrary numbers, right? I mean, we obviously don't have the clinical data yet, but if you're losing seven pounds or eight pounds or you know 12 pounds during the holidays when everybody else is going 12 pounds the other direction, guess what? You're the name that they're going to call when January 1st rolls around and says, hey, I want to lose weight for my resolution. I saw your stories. What is it that you're doing? But that's not going to happen if we're not going out there and getting these products into the hands of customers and people during October to December, right? You cannot wait till January to do this. So all of this is so strategically set up for some incredible, exciting Q4 growth. But really, I mean, you got to buckle down when it comes to Q1 of 2025. I mean, it's going to be absolutely nutty. And here's the scary part. Like here's, I don't say this to you guys, because again, I don't think it's my job to drive FOMO into a team, but I say this to myself. This, If you guys want to just know the conversations I have with myself, if I see people that are joining Life Vantage today that, that blow past me and hit EC1, EC2, EC3, EC4, and let's say we get new presidentials because of this product, then we no longer have an excuse because we were all part of this product launch together. You know what I mean? It's one thing, like for me, I come in and I might, and I, not that I do because I, I get, I try, I try to train myself, no excuses, right? But I might look at Sean and say, well, it's easy for Sean. He was around when ProTandem launched. It's easy for, you know, Tyler, Marcel, Mark Shinsato. It's all easy for these guys. I mean, they were around when Life Vantage launched all their mega products. It's not easy for Daniel Song because I just joined and all the products were already launched. Everybody already knows about it, right? So it's easy to write off your excuse and your success story. But with GLP-1, it kind of resets the playing field. It truly gives an opportunity for a lot of us to say, hey, we can start smelling those EC ranks for the first time in a long time. You know what I mean? MC ranks for the first time in a long time. And I think that's what's going to be truly exciting about this product. Like I truly telling you, this is not a me too product. This is not a one site once a year annual convention hype gimmick. This is truly a company that's setting itself up for a true sophomore album launch. Something that potentially, I mean, think about it. The moment Life Vantage crosses $400 million, the moment it does that, you can now say the GLP-1 product was arguably a bigger product for the company than even ProTandem was. Again, I have no idea what the future holds, but the moment it goes over $400 million, you know you were just part of the biggest product 
that Life Answers launch. And it has every capability. It has the legs for that, guys, right now. So that's what gets me truly fired up. And that's why I'm committed to traveling and doing Zoom calls in and outside of my teams because it's like, man, all it takes is – because here's the thing I also understand – the louder we are collectively as a company, as a company, if we're all like, it, it, yes, there's a selfish part of me that wishes you guys were all part of my team so I'm earning commissions. Uh, yeah, like, look, we all we all think that. But the truth is, collectively as a company, if we can elevate this company's name and its brand and its and it's just noise in a positive, transformative, inspirational way, we all know this industry is going through sort of an identity crisis. But for Life Vantage to emerge, you guys heard me use the term the lighthouse company where we're doing great things. Um, man, that's going to be inspiring for everybody. Collectively, everybody's going to have a better time, right? Like to be able to get, to be able to attract new partners into this company, new customers into this company, and so I think it's going to be really, really exciting. But again, your job right now is not. There's two types of people, right? We know that there's going to be some of you guys that are going to be like, "All right, this sounds good. I'm going to wait till October 11th, and then and then and then it's time to go." And that's good, but that's not great. Like the people who understand what October 11th is needs to understand, you know what? I firmly believe Daniel, I believe him. This is it. And I, yes, I will go. I will, I will run a million miles an hour after October 11th. But I also know that every person that I can talk to today, every one more consultant that can join my team, even if it's just one, I have increased those odds of success by magnitudes. Right. And that's what I mean by the momentum multiplier. Like everything hits exponentially for every group. And so again, I don't want you guys to sit there and say, this sounds good, but okay, so I'll be there in October. Yes, that's level one. Level one is getting to October 11th and getting to Market Connect. But the true entrepreneurs understand that you got to get ahead of this right now. And if you can just get this in front of two or three or four more people before October, it's going to magnify your business. And if you have a bigger team, let's say you have a team of 20 or 30, say, hey, you know what? I got to get to 40 or 50, right? If you have a team of 100, you got to be like, I got to get to 150, you know? So like, Everybody is elevating and trying to put a bigger percentage on top of it because it's only going to make your odds a little bit better for, for the business. So anyways, that's kind of what I have. Again, any other questions you guys have, ask and I'd be happy to share. You rock, my friend. I cannot wait for you to be here. You guys, af after that 30 minutes, like if you don't show up, that's on you. Like there's there's nothing more that we can do uh, to encourage you. This is fire. Uh, this guy knows what he's doing. The person that gets the most butts and seats wins that that's it. We have the tools, we have the resources, we have the people, we have the voices to, to help you close these people. And as he's saying, the bigger momentum you create right now, the bigger the win October 11th. And don't get behind the eight ball, whether it's October 11th or January 1st, now's the time. Now's the time to create that momentum. So if I was you, I'm not, but if I was you, I would rearrange absolutely everything to ensure that I was there, but not just there, but bringing other people. I would be calling up my buddies and being like, hey, you know, even if it's somebody that's told you no in the past, hey, I know this wasn't for you in the past, but you've got to take an hour out of, out of your time to just come and hear this, just come and hear this and bring people with you. So, uh, Daniel, you're amazing, man. I can't wait to get to know you more. This is going to be a blast. I this know we could listen to you literally all right. You guys, we could listen to Daniel all night. I'm just, I'm always wild. This just wisdom and just conviction and just your smile. And then your calm and you've just got so much there. Um, Aaron Beck, I see your gorgeous smiling face. Aaron Beck is an executive up in North Dakota and mm. she, her heart is racing like crazy right now. I can feel her through her chat. Aaron, can you share with everybody? Well, you can say hello to Mr. Anyone, Sorry, you can first. Say hello to share with everybody, um, the details so that they're, they know hundred percent what's going on in Grand Forks on Saturday with Daniel and Jake. Yes, I'm actually packed. I'm ready to go to Minneapolis for another gathering tomorrow. Um, but I am so excited and it's going to be at 10 a.m. Um, it's going to be in a hotel in Grand Forks, a very beautiful space. We're going to have coffee. We're going to have fun pastries. We're going to have Axio collagen, all the things. And I'm just so, so excited. Daniel, you get me really excited about not just the product, about the future of Life Vantage. And so that really is the pep I needed tonight. Thank you. Excited to see you. So good. So good. 
And then here in Sioux Falls, what is, we are just gonna be so spoiled on uh, Friday. So those of you from Sioux Falls and surrounding areas, I know some of you are traveling in. Um, if you can come in early and have some one-on-one -on -one time and just sit down time with Daniel, that'll be special because after the meeting, Daniel and Jake will be driving for like four and a half hours. They're gonna get to North Dakota after midnight, I think. So again, thank you, Daniel, for your service, seriously, because that's it's a lot. But we're going to be at um, Overlook Cafe at Falls Park, which is going to be so beautiful but between 1 and 2.30. We're going to have a Q&A at Pam Gordon's house. So she couldn't be on tonight because she has something. To, but please remember to thank Pam. Um, show up, help clean up, do all the things and just give love and pour um, you know, offerings to her. Um, that's going to be at 4 o'clock. She will have some food there as well. And then the meeting will start promptly. Promptly, promptly, promptly at 6.30. So, you know, guys, come like a half hour early, shake hands, get your guests seated right up front, get them introduced to people, um, all that. Text your team, make sure, be like, you know, with the team member. Remember, like, before you go, if your your guest knows that somebody's waiting for them or you can, you know, then they might not miss going because sometimes they'll be like, oh, something came up. But if they know that someone's waiting for them, that's excited to meet them. Um, they'll be there. So like Sean and Daniel were saying, just get as many people there, you guys. We have such a gift to share with this world. And as you can see, um, I mean, Daniel, we when we were talking with Skylar, the conversation was, you know, who who would be amazing to have for you guys to have in your markets up in South Dakota, North Dakota, and it immediately was you. And I mean, we knew that was a long stretch of, a, of an ask. He, didn't, he didn't understand what he was going to have to do. I, I know. <laughs> to travel to South Dakota, North Dakota is, is not easy, but it is worth it. We got, there's so many good humans, but, um, but Daniel, what you said in the beginning about trusting, you know, people to come in to your family, because this is family, mm -hmm. is real. Mm -hmm. And we just, we thank you. Um. It's so great. We're honored. And the, big, the biggest compliment you can give him for the sacrifice of him leaving his house, his community, his team is to show up and bring people there. I promise you. Yeah, that's the greatest gift. Let's pack yes. this up. Yes. All right. Let's go. Let's give Daniel. Let's see. You can go off. Yeah, our off mute and give him a round of applause. Say thank you, thank you, thank you. We love you, Daniel. We'll see you soon. All the things. And yes, this is how we end, Daniel. <laughs> I've <laughs> never seen this view before. <laughs> oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's I love it. I love it. it. Daniel teaching us. All right. We'll get this recording out. How many people want to get this recording out to people? That was incredible. All right. Love you, Daniel. We'll we'll talk in tech soon. Thank you. Good. Thank you everybody Appreciate for taking time to be here soon. tonight. Bye. Good Bye. night.